Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist, and today doing some battle and boxer test hands. So, without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell on there so you can come part of Notification Squad, and definitely check out the Patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name in the a single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So, without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So this deck is amazing to be able to play. We finally have crazy, powerful battle and boxer support thanks to the Fire Duelist Pack. So this deck is amazing to be able to play. I absolutely love boxers. And fun fact, battle and boxers were the very first deck profile ever on the Dark Arm Duelist channel, which is just a really cool thing about this deck. So this deck has a very special place in my heart and I absolutely love playing Battle and Boxer. So we're gonna go ahead and shuffle up the deck and then see what we can do for our test hands. But if you guys would like to check out the deck profile, definitely, definitely check out the deck profile down in the description down below. As always, for every test hand, the deck profile is linked down in the description down below. But we're gonna go ahead and pile shuffle the deck and go ahead and see what we can do because this deck is really amazing now we have an in archetype rescue rabbit we have an extra normal summon and we even have a searcher for counter counter traps which is just super cool and that's just for the main deck we have even more powerful cards in the extra deck so let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can draw into hopefully we draw into our copy of our promoter so we're gonna draw into a copy of chief second upper cutter book of moon pot of prosperity and a copy of Pot of Prosperity. So this is actually really good right out the back. because so I can actually show you guys the Pot of Prosperity target. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate Pot of Prosperity. And you usually go for six. And this is what I banish off of it. So we're playing three Dempsey. So you can banish Dempsey. It's totally fine. Um, you can also banish these and the copy of the Baguska. Because you're not going to make that going first. I also banished the copy of the Nova Kaiser and I banished the copy of Lead Yoke out of the extract. This is usually my six that I banish because these are kind of like flex spots that you can change. Or actually these three are flex spots because you can even play Utopia um, Future in here if you want to. But I feel like you don't need it that much. I like the giant hand because your opponent's literally going to catch these hands while you're playing boxers, which is just the best, the funniest thing. I, I love it. But... We're going to use the effect of Pot of Prosperity, and we're going to go ahead and reveal a copy of Chief Second, Promoter, we're already grabbing that, so it doesn't matter what the other cards are, uh, Called by the Grave, a copy of Imperm, Switch Hitter, and a copy of Spar. So, we're going to go ahead and grab Promoter. Promoter is very important to grab because this card is the new Rescue Rabbit for the deck. This card is very, very important to be able to see in your hand. Uh, you can play Small World over this if you want to, but I just like playing Prosperity because it's just so good. But what we're going to do at this point is you're going to Normal Summon this card out to your field. It can Special Summon itself if your opponent is going first and they have a monster on the field. Like, if they have a monster on the field, you can just Special Summon this card. But you tribute this card, and it works exactly like Rescue Rabbit. And it's funny because I actually have both the targets that you always summon in my hand. So I'm actually going to Special Summon out a copy of Chief Second and a copy of the uppercutter uppercutter is very good because on summon uppercutter searches a counter counter trap which is really cool or a battle and boxer but i always search out the counter counter trap off of it because it gives you a basically a negate which is really good so you're gonna go ahead and grab cross counter you can grab which is funny you can grab flameville counter because it's a counter counter trap and this card has 200 defense points they they were they were cooking when they when they built that card like that that was whew, i love that card but uppercutter is really cool because you can actually use it with um flameville counter because it has 200 defense points so it gives you a spell trap negate with flameville counter gives you a monster negate with cross counter which is good so at this point, this card gives you an additional normal summon. So you can normal summon another monster to your side of the field if you want to, like a copy of Uppercutter, if you want to make another play, which is really nice. So you're going to go ahead and overlay both of these on your side of the field into a copy of King Dempsey. I like to make King Dempsey because on special summon, this card gives you a search of another card. Now this is once per turn um, for any of the effects. You can only activate one effect of it per turn. So if you get the normal summon, it's not like Stratos. You cannot get multiple effects on this card, which is why it's important to detach your copy of your uppercutter during the opponent's turn. So you haven't used the effect yet. So you can get its ability to special summon a boxer from the grave. So you can get back co your copy of Promoter. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna search a boxer. I usually going first, search out the copy of Spar because Spar lets you special summon itself. We're not gonna go to battle phase anyways, so it's fine. So we're just gonna special summon out our copy of Spar to our side of the field. 
So the really cool thing at this point is you can make something like Nova Kaiser. And if you have the rank up magic, you can turn it into something else, which is the copy of the C79, which is really cool. I like that about that card. So we're going to go ahead and overlay both of these on our side of the field. This card soul charges its materials back to our side of the field if it does get destroyed. But we have two interruptions against the opponent and we can recover our stuff later, which is just really cool. So... We're going to go ahead and pass over to the opponent. Once we pass over the opponent, when they go, we're going to use the ability of our uppercutter to be able to discard it to the graveyard and then special summon back our copy of Promoter to our side of the field because this card lets us special summon it back to our side of the field, which is just really, really good. Plus, we do have the copy of our Battle and Boxing Cross Counter that lets you, when your opponent activates a monster effect, destroy one battle and boxer that you control or a number XZ monster you control and if you do negate the activation and if you do that destroy that monster which is really cool because if you get to this card sometimes it's even better to make lead yoke if you want to because it's just going to give you more protection with those plays so you can destroy it as well which is kind of nice but this card also gives you some follow-up play which is really cool to be able to do that if you do negate the activation do you destroy that card and then you apply the ability to special summon a boxer XZ monster from your x deck with a different name than the first monster and if you do attach this card as a material so you can destroy this card on your side of the field or you can destroy the copy of the c79 if you want to with that play because this card has a really cool ability that when this card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect it goes off but not when this goes off so we're just going to destroy this on our side of the field and once we do, it's going to go off to be able to special summon back your copy of Lead Yoke. And we're just going to put it on their side of the field, which gives us more follow-up for next turn. Plus, we have Book of Moon that we can set up. So we're going to go ahead and draw into the next turn. We're going to draw into a copy of Switch Hitter, which is super good to be able to do. Because now we can use the copy of Promoter if it made it through the turn, which is really neat to be able to do. But we're going to use the effect of our copy of Promoter to be able to get rid of it. And then special summon out from our deck. Always special summon out to your side of the the field the copy of the chief second because it gives you an additional normal summon and your copy of your uppercutter uppercutter is very important because it does get you that spell trap negate which is really good plus it's live now this is the follow-up term by the way so it does give you that play which is really good so at this point we do get an additional normal summon which is going to be really awesome to be able to get that additional normal summon because now at this point if your opponent dealt with any of your monsters you can normal summon switch hitter and make two xz's but we really don't even need to make two xz's we can save the copy of switch hitter for later and you don't even need to use prosperity again because what we're going to do is just normal summon out the chief second and then we're going to banish promoter from the graveyard and turn all of these into level five so they increase their level by one. We're going to increase the level and we're going to hard make the C79 Battle Boxer General Kaiser, which is pretty good to be able to make this card like that because it's a crazy powerful monster. Plus we got an additional normal summon so we can still normal summon the switch hitter because we didn't normal summon it for our normal normal summon. We get that additional normal summon, which is really cool, but you're getting this really good field. That's really nice to be able to do so. Let's go ahead and go into the next test hand and see what we can do for the next one. That was a really good opening test hand for Battle and Boxer. And this deck is just so cool. Like with all the new support, this deck is just insane. Like really fun to be able to play. And just a really good deck overall, which is just super, super cool. So let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do for the next test hand because this deck is just super cool. Even if you don't open up, like if you open up any one boxer plus a chief second, you pretty much have full combo as well because you can go like chief second normal summon with the other boxer make dempsey and then search promoter so you still have your play right there and if you're going second use special summon promoter and then special summon out two to your side of the field uh off promoter's effect so we're gonna go ahead and draw into an ash blossom or copy of chief second uppercutter this is fine like if you open up these two you're still at the same position because you just can normal summon out the copy of uppercutter switch hitter and a copy of rota well we got rota so it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter we have rota so we're going to Rota, um, and we're going to search out a copy of Promoter. Promoter is important. We can normal summon out the copy of Promoter if you want to. Or you can do this a little differently, and you can actually normal summon out your copy of Chief Second, and then summon out your copy of Promoter, because it's an additional normal summon off the copy of the Chief Second to guarantee you're going to get a monster on your side of the field. Or you can hold it if you want to. It's totally up to you. I just like to summon out Promoter to my side of the field. But we're going to use Promoter's ability, and we're going to special summon out two boxers from the deck, which again... Uppercutter, Chief, Second. Two new support cards. Make sure you're summoning those two because you're getting a search and an additional normal summon off of them both. And we're going to go ahead and search from our deck 
the copy of our, where is it? Our copy of Cross Counter. It depends on the matchup. If you're going against a trap heavy deck or a spell heavy deck, search out the other one. It's totally up to you which one you grab, but it's cool because there's speed spell three counter traps. I love that. So we do get an additional normal summon because we did normal summon, or we do have the copy of the uh, chief second on the field. So you can normal summon out switch hitter, which is why I like this card at two. Again, if you guys would like to check out the deck profile, as always down in the description down below, special summon out the copy of the promoter back from the grave because of switch hitters ability. And then at this point, you're just going to overlay both of these on your side of the field, or you can overlay both of these right here and make your King Dempsey. If you want to make King Dempsey here, and we can actually activate King Dempsey's ability on our turn. Cause I'm going to show you guys how to make a different cool XZ monster. We're going to show you how to make C79. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and shuffle up the deck. We are locked into boxers because of the effect of promoter. So keep that in mind. You can't summon Baguska. You can't summon the hands. That's totally fine. They don't need to catch the hands on the first or on the first turn. That's fine. So we're going to special summon out the copy of Spar. Then you're going to use the effect of King Dempsey and detach specifically the copy of Promoter here because you want to be able to use it on the follow-up play to be able to use the effect of Switch Hitter, or not Switch Hitter, but the uh, Uppercutter. So we're going to detach the copy of Promoter, and then once we do, we can banish Promoter from the graveyard and then increase their levels by five, or up to five, not by five, but increase their levels by one, and then you can hard make your copy of Battle and Boxer General Kaiser. Then you can set this card to your side of the field and you are already set up for the next turn. We have these two cards in our hand that were already set up for the next turn that you don't even have to worry about it. Next turn, you normal this, you special that, or you normal the both of these to your side of the field. You search out the other counter counter trap and then you overlay both of these into another XZ monster and you're already set up for the follow up turn. That's why this deck is so cool and so consistent now. Like I love that. Like it was consistent before, but now it's like really consistent. Before it was like headgear and uh, glass jaw and stuff like that, but now, now you get this. So this card is also really good because it also has a really cool ability that it gains two attack for each material attached to it. So it's going to go up to 32 on summon. And then once per turn, when your opponent would special summon a monster, quick effect detach two materials in this card. And if you do negate the actor or negate the summon, and if you do destroy that monster, which is really good, it doesn't get its bonus effect because it doesn't have the original 79 under it, but that's fine. We do have rank up magic spells in this build that you can do that. But with this, it's fine. You can just make it this way, which is really cool. So you pass over to the opponent, you have two negates on the field, plus you have the ash and hand as an interrupt. So you're gonna interrupt three cards in their hand. Hopefully they have like a hand trap that wasn't ash, <laughs> which is very important not to hit the copy of promoter because then it kind of falls apart. But you still have those really cool plays like this. And you also have your counter counter traps. So you have one, two, three negates right here. And you also have the King Dempsey right there to be able to follow up the play with the King Dempsey, which is just really nice. So you can also tag out the King Dempsey. And at the beginning of your opponent's turn, you can just detach this card if you want to. Or you can activate the copy of the cross counter like this, which is really cool. But what I usually like to do, excuse me, you can actually make this later. But what we're going to do is we're going to say that our opponent special summons a monster and we're going to immediately stop it. Okay. We're just going to stop it right there because this is what you want to activate first. You always want to activate the copy of C79 first. So you have something engraved for the effect of your copy of King Dempsey. Don't resolve King Dempsey until afterwards. Now make them untargetable. And then you can use the ability of your copy of Uppercutter and recover back your copy of Spar. Now, once you do, now they're untargetable. Then you also have the ability of your cross counter, destroy this on the field because now you don't really need it. And then once you do that, you can also bring out the copy of lead yoke, which is really nice to be able to bring that out and attach your copy of cross counter to it, which gives you an additional boss monster on the field that can protect itself and other boxers, which is a super cool. As if a battle box marching control would be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can detach the material. So now they can't be targeted and they can't be destroyed by battle or by card effect one time for battle and card effect, which is really nice. Also, you have Ash and you have a three play for the follow up, which is cool because you have three monsters in the hand. And if you draw another one, you can make two XZs off of this. But make sure you want, if you want to take your battle phase, don't summon this because it does lock you at your battle phase. You can Ash them, which if you want to, you can. And then we're going to go ahead and draw in the next turn. We drew the rank up magic. We're perfect. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and normal summon out the copy of your chief second, special or normal summon out your copy of Uppercutter. Uppercutter will go off and search an additional monster from the deck, which I'm just going to search out a copy of Spar, because if it's normal or special, you can add a boxer from decked hand or a counter counter trap. So we're just going to search out another copy of Spar for the main two, because you can go into battle phase and then during main two, special these guys out during main two after you've taken your battle, because it says 
for the rest of the turn. So it can be in main too. So now at this point, you can do this, make your copy of your Nova Kaiser. And then once you do that, you can just go ahead and throw the quick chaos after you attack. You go to battle phase, you go swing, swing, swing with this, swing right here. You can also use the ability of this that once per turn, you can attach a boxer from your hand or graveyard to this card. So you can go ahead and attach, if you want to, another copy of Uppercutter, which is just going to get you an additional material under it. And then once you do that, now you can go into battle and go swing. And this also gains, I believe, 200 attack points um, for every material attack, 100 attack points for every material under it. So it's at 26. So you go 26. You go 28 now, and you go 22, and then you go rank up during battle phase, and you turn your copy of your C79 into the bigger C79, and you go again for another swing, and you go 2, 4, 6, 8, and then you go 8 on this, which would be about uh, 3,400, which is really big. Um, so you get this really big monster on the field to be able to swing. And it's also a double negate because we have two materials attached to it. Then you go main two and you go double spar on your side of the field. And then you overlay both of these down here. And we just summon out another King Dempsey. And then you're set up again. So you have King Dempsey on the field now. King Dempsey on summon searches you out something. So we're just going to grab promoter. See, this deck is just working for me. It was on the bottom. It was perfect. So we're going to go ahead and add promoter to hand. And we're set up for the follow-up turn for another play, which is really cool. You can also summon these in the extra monster zone to clean up your zones a little bit if you want to. But I'm just summoning them here. But you can summon them in the extra monster zones if you want to, as long as they're like summoned from the extra correctly if they're summoned like this you usually don't but i i just like summon them like this but you can do those really cool plays so let's go ahead and do one more and show you guys one more test hand for this particular video but it's really cool as you guys can see this deck is fun like it's really fun and it's not even that crazy like expensive to pick up because you can you can change out like i said you can change out the prosperity if you want to the rest of the stuff is like really budget but you can change out prosperity if you want to for um, Small World, if you want to, and just play one of the Kaiju, which is fine. You can change out like this. Like, if you really want to, if you really want to play this deck on a budget, change out Prosperity for Small World, and then drop, uh, where is it? Drop the one Monster Reborn for a Kaiju, the, the Fire Kaiju. And then you can use the Fire Kaiju, like you can reveal, with, with Small World, you can reveal any Boxer in hand, reveal the Fire Kaiju in hand, and then you can grab from your deck your copy of Promoter, because they're different. These are different, which is kind of cool, because your Fire Kaiju will be completely different than your copy of your Promoter, um, but you they're all fire, so you can reveal it that way, just to show you guys a cool play, uh, which is really nice, and I believe you can use Ash the same way, which is kind of neat. So we're going to shuffle up the deck and see what we can do for the next test hand and see if we can pull off some really, really cool plays. I just like playing duality, or not duality, but um, prosperity in here because it helps you dig into the deck for exact card you need. So we're going to go ahead and go for Droll and an Ash and a Promoter. What is it? You're always in my hand. <laughs> we're going to go Uppercutter and we're going to go Imperm. I'm not complaining. We have perfect hand. We have three interruptions. These are not even needed. I'm just going to show you guys with these. These are just interruptions. We have three interruptions here. So we're going to summon out our copy of Promoter. Promoter is going to go off. And we're going to special summon out Chief Second. Remember, we always summon Chief Second. And then we always summon out our copy of our... Where are you at? Where are you at? Uppercutter. I always usually summon out these two. You can summon something else if, since you already have the copy of Promoter. You can summon out like Glassjaw if you want to. Just to keep the second Uppercutter in the deck. Um, which is an option for you guys because if this card does go to the graveyard and it's sent to the graveyard by a card effects You can actually target a boxer in the graveyard and add it back to your hand So you can get your cards back if you've already got the copy of uppercutter You can do that which is an option plus this card is just really funny um, Then we can normal summon out our copy of uppercutter and search our cards Which is going to get us another interruption which again cross counter, but since we have imperm Since we do have imperm you can grab instead your copy of Flameville Counter, wherever it is. Now we have a Spell Trap Negate, we have a Monster Negate, we have Ash Blossom, which is a Search Negate, and we have no more searching for the rest of the turn. So we have all three of these on the field. Now the cool thing is, is you can make Star Cestus if you want to. Um, you can make this, wherever it is, you can make this if you want to with these three, or you can Brandish Promoter, and you can put all three of these into your copy of your C79 if you want to do that as well, but you're not going to have your copy of um, Uppercutter in the graveyard for this, which is a little bit of a downside. 
But usually I just like making King Dempsey. King Dempsey just always feels right to make because the King Dempsey just gives you so many plays because now um, the reason I like making King Dempsey here and just to show you guys why, if you're going first, you get the extender with your copy of Spar. And Spar is very important here because then you can special summon Spar and make another play here to be able to step into your copy of C70 or your copy of 79 instead. Or you can make lead yoke so that you're untargetable you're untargetable with this. You can't be destroyed by battle by card effects up to twice because you can detach materials and it just gets big, which is really funny. So now at this point, you can just set Imperm and Flameville Counter. The Flameville Counter is not live yet, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, we're going to get plays for it. So at this point, we're going to pass over to the opponent. We're going to let them do their thing. We're not too worried about that. So during draw phase, you can go ahead and detach. We're not worried about recovering cards right now because we already have our field set up. So we're gonna let our opponent do their thing. We have the Imperm, that's one negate. We have this, which is two negates. And then we also have this, which is three negates for a spell trap negate, which is why I went ahead and sent that to the graveyard to be able to have this live. And then we have the copies of our uh, 79 and our copy of Battle and Boxer Dempsey on the field. And then we have this as an interruption where they can't search for the rest of the turn. And then during the follow-up turn, we're gonna draw, and I, if it's promoter. It's not, okay, it's a quick play. <laughs> okay, so we can OTK, that's great. So we can use the ability of our Nova Kaiser, which we don't have anything that we can actually go into, which is fine. Just make it untargetable right here. This is going to not go off because we don't have anything in the grave, but you can use Nova Kaiser to be able to attach because this card has the ability that it gains 200 or you can once per turn attach a boxer from your hand or graveyard to this card. So we're just going to attach this and then we're going to go into battle. And once we go into battle, we're going to go swing, rank up, make this, swing again, swing with Dempsey and and you pretty much have it like at that point which is just hilarious and I love that about this deck and it's just really really good now another cool play about this deck that you can do which I'll show you guys very quickly about this particular build is with this rank up magic spell and your copy of chief commissioner we're chief second and like upper cutter you can technically go into your copy of the hands or if you open up like double spar we'll just say We'll just say with these two, it doesn't matter. Any any two boxers that you can summon to your side of the field. We're gonna normal summon out our copy of Glassjaw and we're gonna special summon out our copy of Spar. On the first turn, we're gonna overlay these two and we're gonna make Giant Hand. Your opponent's gonna go, what? And you're gonna summon out Giant Hand. Um, at this point, you're gonna pass over to the opponent with this card set. You're gonna use this as a negate right here. And then once you do, you can then flip your copy of the Rank Up Magic spell at any point during your opponent's turn after you use this as a negate, and then make C-106, so they do catch these hands. And that's how you actually make the C-106. And this card is insane. This card is like almost like Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity, or almost like Cal Yuga, because it has the ability, if this card is a number monster as a material, it gains the ability, just any number monster. It doesn't have to be 106, but you're gonna rank it up that way. And it has the ability, once per turn, during either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated on the field, detach material from this card, and if you do, quick effect, negate the effect of all their face of cards currently on the field until the end of the turn. So it just cold waves the field one time, it's mandatory, but it just completely cold waves the field one time, and it just stays on the field as a 2600 attack point monster. Plus, you can high five them afterwards. So then we draw in the next turn, we're drawn into a spar or something, and we're gonna basically just swing with this, and you have like follow up play. You're probably gonna open up next promoter and then just go in. So. That shows you guys exactly how the deck works. It's really fun to be able to play. Um, the new support is amazing. Like, I absolutely love the new support. If you guys would like to check out the deck profile, as always, it is down in the description down below. But this deck is so good, pure. Like, I love playing this deck like this because it's so fun. And it, like, it was the first deck profile on the channel. So it, like, kind of makes it full circle, which is kind of cool that I'm doing test hands of this when I'm at this amount of subscribers, which is just super cool to be able to do. Like, it, sometimes it's unbelievable. And I really appreciate every one of you guys watching the video because it's amazing to look back at that first deck profile and see how far we've come together as a community with this particular channel and it's just really important to me and i really appreciate it so that's going to do it for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part of notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video and next one will be at 100k we'll see you guys in the next one see you later guys